Ocean 10, respond code 3. Hello everyone, as always I'm on Ocean 10 and this is the police. So please keep your hands where I can see them and join me as we return to Freeburg and see how badly we can screw up today. <laughs> it's probably going to happen. Uh, let's see here, 20 year old, one, tw yeah, 21 year old Allison Bell, victim of brutal murder. Oh yeah, that's what we were working on. Freeburg housing, construction, affordable. City hall, intern found dead in apartment. Ooh, was that... Part of that case? Probably not. What's going on here? This is probably going to be bad news. Police station, no idea what's going on there. Uh, City Hall doesn't like us, of course. Mafia is just fine with us. Uh, I just said Mafia, like it's moths that are in the, the like, crime. Okay. Uh, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink him drink. Are these just randomized, or do they actually mean something for this day? I, for some reason, I think this is like randomly generated. I bet if I backed out of the game and rejoined it, I bet it would be different. Anyway, let's go to work. Yeah, nice new car. I love it. All right, so my father's funeral is today. Can you leave me so I can go and burial? God damn it. You, I, you just started. You just started. You couldn't tell me this yesterday? Uh, yes, but coming tomorrow. I drank too much. I don't think I can hold my liquor today. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, but coming tomorrow. Damn, now we're down to one, two, three, four, five cops today. Good. <laughs> this, is, this is not going to end well. All right, uh, what else do we have that's new here that I did not play yet? Did we play this yet? Nope, dirt cheap, that's new. Let, oh, nope, uh, that's actually new too, but let's keep it in order. I know we listened to that other one first. Let's listen to this. I think we listen, I don't think we've listened to this one yet, have we? Uh, actually sounds pretty familiar. That's all right, we'll, we'll go with it. All right. All right, we got the burial of one of our officers, actually. Uh, inspection. Oh, great. We are concerned about the low effectiveness rating of Freeburg's finest. Especially authorized inspectors have been invited to visit your department. I don't know. Maybe if you just gave me more officers, I could do my fucking job better. But whatever. Anyway. Um, City Hall. Change detectives. What? As Freeburg police failed to detect the appearance of a famous serial killer in the city, uh, it is... It has become clear that detectives simply are not up to the challenge. Uh, you have seven days to fully update your detective roster, find some smart young faces, and uh, those assholes working for you. Find some f f smart young faces and those assholes working for you. Keep them as far away as the police station as possible. Great. Mafia, your share. Ooh, hoo, hoo, $11,000. Well, fuck my staff because they've been screwing me over a lot lately. So let's go ahead and take that. We're up to 100000 now. Uh, we got some room in the labor market here. We've got some detectives here. Look at this guy. It's like Michael Chiklis had a stroke. <laughs> Look at him. Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta. Now that I just said that, I gotta do it. Wait, all right. Who can we use him? Um, <laughs> let's put him on. Uh, let's put him on B-Shift. That way we have him tomorrow. And I think the main murder is going on on B-Shift thing, but god damn it, Michael Jiggle's having a stroke. I didn't even, like, that just came out. Like, I didn't even actually think of that. <laughs> this is great. Anyway, uh, we're going to miss so many calls today because we don't have enough cops. This is going to be so bad. Uh, what do we got already? Drug sale. An old man uh, complained that a suspicious guy was lurking around his apartment building. He doesn't live here. I know the faces of all my neighbors. This guy is selling drugs. All right, um, let's send two of our new guys out there. Since they won't go alone, got to keep some of our heavy hitters like Van Dahl and Forbes, uh, you know, in our pocket. Shaw is all right. Is he? Isn't he new? I can't. Hang on. Uh, no, he's at five, he's been with us seven days. Five successful assignments, two failed. We got over here. Oh, crime at the sawmill. Uh, something suspicious is going on near the forest. Okay, that is the most vague call we have had in history in 67 days. Uh, Shaw, can you go alone? You son of a bitch. All right, you guys go. Watch there be another call. We're, we're gonna we're not gonna be able to do it. Oh, God, this sucks. I I know I screwed up down the road, at, you know, at some point. Uh, the guy didn't have any drugs. He's only waiting for his girlfriend who hadn't answered his call since they quarreled. Okay, not a big deal. At least we got these cops coming back in, and I guarantee a call will come in, in like three, two, one, and call. Damn it! I was just for once would love for that to work in life. Just where I count down and something actually happens. Crime report. What do we got? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. 
We just got two of our officers killed, and we don't know why the fuck it happened. Are you si- Wow. I, I'm at a loss. This this has proven to be a very challenging game at this point. I, oh my god. Now we're down to three cops for the rest of the shift. Which means we basically can only send two out at a time. Uh, assault with a deadly weapon. A man attacked a sales girl at the flower shop when she refused to give him a bouquet of roses on credit. Eyewitnesses report that the man struck the poor girl with a pistol and started to choke her with some uh, packing tape. Uh... All the while, he kept yelling, I just want to be treated like a human. You're doing a great job of treating the other person like a human, dude. Van Dahl and... Ah, uh, fuck. Well, you might as well all go, because I can't just send one cop somewhere, since you guys won't go alone. Oh, great. Questioning. Uh, these officers are needed for official questioning. Uh, this will take a few days, during which time they will be exempt from all duties. Yeah, like I'm... Like, I don't have enough cops as it is. You're going to take away three more. Well, one's out on a fucking call, so he, you can wait for him. But, oh my god, I cannot believe we lost two officers. Oh! Oh, I know what that was. That was the thing I... Was that the thing where I hired the mob to kill people and I just sent two of my... Did I do that? Did I, did I get them killed? I don't know. Anyway, this one turned out fine. Son of a bitch, that wasn't it, was it? They didn't... What? Fuck. I could have swore I did that, and maybe that was that. And it didn't, like, tell me that's what it was? God damn it. How's this situation? We don't have anyone right now. An armed man wearing uh, what looks to be an explosive vest is standing uh, next to an attraction on Ice Cream Arena, uh, demanding that uh, the dangerous stuff be dismantled and removed right away. Park visitors and their children are trapped in the Ferris wheel, and the offenders refusing to let them leave. All right. I need my cops to come back. Why Why are my officers not... Are you shitting me? They took them now? The town hall just took my three only officers off the street. See, I'm not the one endangering the public. It's the freaking bureaucrats. It's the freaking local government that's fucking me over in the entire town. And now I, ha I, I can't send anyone because the SWAT team won't go alone in the paddy wagon. It has to be accompanied by an officer. So the freaking town just screwed us over. So that guy's going to blow himself up and a uh, dozen other people. Yeah, abduction. What do you want me to do here? I don't have any cops. That is some bullshit right there. Oh my god. You cannot be serious. Well, that guy's going to blow himself up. Man, right now. Yep. And he... Oh, well, he got away, I guess. I guess that... Nope. He, he killed people. There it is. He got away, which means he didn't, you know, blow himself up. What's this? Homicide at the motel? Yeah, well, too bad for them, I guess, right? I mean, what am I supposed to do when the town hall screws me over like that? That makes no sense. Like, the, you know, and, and the thing about this game is it doesn't really, like, let you, um, I guess someone else got killed? Yeah, there it is. Uh, obviously, someone got killed over here. But, you know, it doesn't give you the option of like, hey, by the way, I just lost two of my officers. You can't take my three remaining officers off the streets. It's like, I wish there was a mechanic for that in this, but I know there isn't. And, you know, I mean, what, what can you do, you know? <sighs> well, we're going to see what happens here. The, day, the day's not even over yet. Like, we haven't even drawn the curtain yet. We still have a little bit more time to go. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, there it is. End of the day. Yeah. Because what else could I fucking do? All right, well, that wasn't good at all. So declare dead and declare dead because we need to fill those slots again. So that's the end of that day. Let's go to the cutscenes now. Damn it. Boyd here, and I hope you have a hell of a good reason for calling me in the middle of the night. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Boyd. I'll, I'll call you back later. No, no, wait. You're the girl from the prosecutor's office. Lana, right? Yes, exactly. Oh, I'm so embarrassed, Mr. Boyd. The first thing Mrs. Broom told me about you is that you almost never sleep. I don't sleep too much either, so I thought I'd call you and apologize for last time. <laughs> but it wasn't the last time, was it? Well, I I've been going over our conversation in my mind, and I realized how stupid I sounded. You're the chief of police, and there's a strange girl calling you, saying she'll be the next city prosecutor, just, just to share the news, I guess. <laughs> I must have sounded crazy. Not so crazy as you imagine, Lana. Uh, when I learned I was going to be police chief, 
My parents were already dead, and my only friend was working a thousand miles away from Freeburg. Wife and kids were relaxing on a distant island in the middle of the ocean. It took me six hours to get a hold of them. But I had to share the news with someone, or I would have gone mad. All the more because I was surrounded by half a dozen cops who figured they were ahead of me for the job. I figured you were feeling about the same. It's like you're reading my mind. Now I'm like an outcast here. Most of them still think that Mrs. Broom was joking or trying to show her deputies that she's in charge of appointing her successor. But I know it's no joke. Well, for some reason, I didn't doubt it, Lana. That's probably why I'm calling you. <laughs> I know it's selfish. I'm sure your wife isn't too keen on girls calling you at night. My wife and I, well, we're not living together. Maybe I'm the loneliest man in town, and that's why you called, to talk to someone even lonelier than you, huh? <laughs> Awkward silence. Lana? You know, Mr. Boyd, maybe I'm an idiot, but until this moment, I didn't realize how lonely I am. Well, you're in luck, because now you can call me anytime. <laughs> uh, but if you do, you'll have to call me Jack. Jack? <laughs> It'll take more than one phone call to get used to that. Well, we're not in a hurry, are we? True. Damn, Jack is smooth. <laughs> like, seriously. Day 68. We might as well just do another day because I literally did spend zero time on that last one. 44% of Freebirds, uh believes homosexuality is contagious. Good. That's just great. Um, Batik Sale invites Stampede. Authentic uniform of German General Karl Wolf discovered in city dump. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same old shit again. All right, let's go to this work. And see what happens. Oh man. All right. Well, at least we got a full fucking roster on this shift. Uh, my father got drunk and beat my mother again. The time looks pretty bad. Uh, I'm sorry. It's an all. It's an all hands on deck day. You can't go. I'm sorry. Look at that. Well, I guess we could have considered <laughs> this guy though. Sellers. Sorry, I can't take that face seriously. That is Michael Chiklis. That's for the rest of this. He's being called Michael Chiklis. I lost car curbside. What can I do? Ca curbside. I was about to say there. We didn't know which accent I was. All right, let's go ahead and play this here album here. Oh, careless love of the original Salty Dogs. That'll do it nicely. There it is. All right. Let's go ahead and do this here. Sound like an old man here. All right. The rest of this episode is going to be with an Irish accent for fuck's sake. Oh, look at this now. Hey, we got a serial murder case here. 25-year-old Pamela Cox, uh, a stripper from the club, Twister, was brutally murdered in her home. You have, you have to attend two, two officers and SWAT. Two, two detectives and SWAT. Oh, I bet you this is what we're looking at. All right, so mole and sellers and the SWAT team. You go out there and take care of that one. Don't fall into any traps. Uh, salary, there we go. $66. Hope we don't disappoint you. Fuck you. $66 fucking dollars. <laughs> for an entire week? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, your friend sent you to share with what my Just take everything. There we go. That, that makes up for it, right there, it does. Alright, let's see what we got going on today. Make up for the last fucking day that didn't go well for us there. Oh, you Christopher San, Jack, one of, our, one of our kids has climbed onto the roof and he's talking about suicide. We need him to calm him down. Uh, at the same time, keep a lid on the situation. Let's go ahead and send Percy on that. Wait. Uh, oh, did I, did I just not do that? Oh, for fuck's sake. I had to look back at my footage, but I think I hit the console button on that. All right, we got some frames found. Let's open the investigation, take a look at it. Do we have any witnesses? Nope, it's the freaking dentist, a bastard. Jock, I'm so glad you've lived up to my ex expectations. I expected a rule of the games. Uh, so far, the feds are chasing their own tiles, but you, you're following the trail of the coin I left for you. Feel how they're still warm in the touch? You're getting closer? No, you're getting close. Sorry about your detective. I was just so excited to try out my new trap, but I swear it will never happen again. Oh yeah, I fucking doubt it. Now let's look at the card here. I can't really fucking see it because it's too... There we go. All right. So what are we looking at here? Let's look at this thing a little bit closer, huh? So, uh, it's a little hard to actually read. Okay, we got a cornucopia here. She's dumping it out on some animals. Um, doesn't appear to be an angel like I thought. Just a regular woman. 
Uh, we got some farm animals and a crone. What's the cornucopia mean? Dump, dumping coins, maybe? Is that food or coins? I can't remember. We got a donkey, we got uh, some goats, a sheep, a cow, some mountains in the background. Let's see what the back says. Oh, the back just says the thing about the. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Alright, alright, alright. Now let's see here. Uh, evidence we got. We got some frames here as to how she was hit. Not quite sure though. Mmm. Alright, we're gonna have to let that one sit for a. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, the live wire store. The dentist may have hidden evidence here. All right, live wire store. That, that, that doesn't make sense to me. Let's keep that one off the books for now. Don't think it's that one. Rule that out. Veterinarian house. Oh, that might be doing it right there. Uh, the dentist may have hidden. Some, yeah, fuck it. We can't, can't if you can say that every single time. Uh, so that's the the, the dentist office, right? Ve no, veterans office. Not the veterinarian's office. Uh, Beat Buster's dance studio. Fuck off your call. Um. Beatbusters Dance Studio. That doesn't make any sense either. Wait, I, I should be looking at the pictures too. Nah, that doesn't make any sense. What do we got here? Uh, Hell on Wheels Car Dealership. That doesn't make any sense either. Fortune's Bank. I think it's the Fortune's Bank. It makes the most sense because the, 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 I don't have a fucking SWAT team. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Why would you only give me the one time the SWAT team? They just go off for the rest of the day then? Alright, we got a robbery in progress at the, uh, a group of teenagers cleaned out the video rental cash register while the owner's Bruno Boyce, uh, was occupying the back room. A store employee recognized one of the robbers at a regular at the arcade. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and send, what the fuck is the A again? Alright, oh god, look at the inexperienced cops we all got here. Uh, Fraser and Glenn, you all get out there and take care of that. How am I supposed to send detectives if I don't have a SWAT team to send with them? That makes no bloody sense. Because I had to send them the first time, you know what I mean? That, that doesn't... That, that mechanic doesn't work for this. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Now we got two officers going out to that. So far it's a quiet day. I know it's supposed to, we're supposed to be taking up our time with the investigation, but we can't do it if we don't have the resources to do it. A teenager fitting the description of the offender is playing alone in the arcade console. Watch him until his friends return. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Confirm that the manager, uh, that that's the right suspect. Arrest the kid in front of everyone. Eh, just wait for his friends to get there. Oh, we got him. Officer unharmed and good. All right, that's perfect. We raised two of them up into the 200s as well there. That's another call coming in. Armed robbery. Oh boy. At the bank. Santa alarm was tripped at the river bank. Central bronze. Uh, it appears that four to six armed robbers have stormed the bank and have locked themselves inside. Uh, there are at least 15 visitors inside of them. Inside of them. Yeah, okay. That's, oh, that's a different story right there. Inside with them, along with a dozen bank employees. All right. Kachi, Kohun, uh, Best. There you go. Um, I'm going to save the other three officers as best I can for other calls here because... We might get another good one, or bad one, I should say, in the meantime. This is stupid that you can't fucking do this. That doesn't make any... So the B shift's gonna have to be the one to take over that, I guess. That doesn't make any... Uh, I mean, A shift. Another call in progress. Uh, fight in progress at the Ice Palace Cafe. Uh, 50, 15 hooligans burst into the cafe, broke the furniture into splinters, wounded the monitor, badly beat another young man. The man armed with a gun was at the scene. And he fired a warning shot, but the hooligans only laughed and continued their rampage. Uh, uh, th they're destroying everything in the area. All right, we'll send out all of our officers. I hope Percy gets fucking murdered in this one. I hate to say that, but I'm tired of his ass. Uh, guess we'll find out what happens. I don't know. Uh, armed robbery report. See what happened here. Oh, we lost another fucking officer. You gotta be kidding me with this shit. Shite. On fucking real. There's so much cussing in this episode just because I'm freaking Irish this time around. Alright. Oh my god, we lost another fucking officer. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Civilian killed two and the guy got away as well. Good. This is just not turning out well at all and we can't do anything about this. Oh, okay. I'm breaking the accent. I can't do that anymore. I just... I, I really, really am disappointed with how this is turning out. Like, the game just keeps going, but it's just been so hard with the lack of resources that I have. And I know it's because of me. Terrorist, or terror threat. 
Uh, the police intercepted a radio signal similar to the kind used by terrorist cells. Uh, how do we know? Oh, I, okay. They appear to be preparing a terrorist attack on Freeberg. The radio could only catch short snatches of dialogue. It sounds like two cells, codenamed Green Snake and Jupiter, yeah, Jupiter, I almost said Juniper, uh, are going uh, to use something they're called the Prophet's Hammer to make a great explosion. All right, well, it's probably the last call today. Let's just send everyone who's still fucking alive. We'll, we'll keep Percy and Hater. Hater. Oh, his name's Hater, just like Peter. <laughs> Jeez, we're going right back to the accent again. I guess I can only say his name like that. We're going to say he's Irish. That's, that's that right there. His name, he's an Irish fella. Oh my god, I cannot believe this. Let's see what happened with the terror threat. Uh, there weren't any terrorists. There was an abandoned apartment. No sign of uh, imminent attack. The signal was transmitted from a toy radio. Good. All right. Well, it looks like it's the end of the day anyway, so hopefully everything will turn out all right. And we got to report two more officers goddamn dead and get two more officers to fill in that spot. Uh, drug sales. The owners of a small grocery uh, report that um, teenage drug pushers are always hanging around the corner outside the shop. I'm tired of calling this in. You cops never do anything. The disappointed man then abruptly hung up. All right, well, let's send Glenn and uh, Calhoun out there. They can hopefully take care of that and not get themselves killed. That would be appreciated. Oh, man. If you guys are still watching this series, I am very surprised. Because I am not doing well here. I, I mean, I, I usually try not to, like, you know, self-incriminate. Uh, uh, or not something. That's what I'm looking for. Um, oh, fuck. Jack, what kind of circus are you running out there? Tampering with evidence? Seems your men aren't so loyal after all. Uh, just to be just be glad that we don't want to see any more hype on the papers about the dentist of yours. We convinced the prosecutor not to investigate uh, your little sideshow, but we did ask the feds to look into you. Uh, they'll be going over your uh, correspondence with the fine-tooth comb. What do you... T okay, well, I mean, if you're talking about the sale of, of you know, evidence to the mafia for me to get money back, yes, that's absolutely a thing that's going on. But if you're referring to the case that just happened and I didn't send anyone, that's not tampering with evidence. That's just not going to get it. And that's because you, didn't, you, you, you gave the SWAT team off the rest of the day after one assignment. Like, who trains these guys, you know? Like, oh, bring it to the police station just because of what just happened. All right, let's see what happens here. So that was that. We need to report the, yeah, okay. We have to declare him dead. And her dead as well. God damn it. All right. Well, how's A shift looking? Oh, my God. We only have two cops for the next shift. That is some... That's bad. We got to have... You You got to go work tomorrow. You got to go... You can't do work tomorrow. You got to go to work tomorrow. You got to go to work tomorrow. And you definitely got to go... I'm just going to send... You can't... You're dead. You can't go to work. Oh, fucking Percy. You better show up tomorrow, you piece of shit. Ah. <sighs> I'll answer it. Boyd. Well, finally, Jack. I've been dying to reach you these past two weeks. But I thought I should give you some time to recover your strength. Mm. How are you feeling? Better than ever, Mr. Sand. Touched by your concern. Well, I hope this doesn't sound too sentimental, Jack. But while you were laying in a coma, I thought about our last meeting many times. It was such a fascinating conversation. You said it yourself. You're a true hunter. Ah, uh, no, Mr. Sand, it was you who said that. Was it? Well, it doesn't matter. What is important, Kendrick told me a lot about you, Jack. But I suddenly realized that he didn't give me the whole story. Why is it you only want half? What are you talking about? Well, why is it you only want to make half? Not a whole million, just half. Not 100,000, but five. It's a very specific figure. How did you arrive at that number? Well, I was looking at a house a couple hours outside of Freeburg, down the river. I figured to buy it, move the family, and set everything up, I'd need right around 500,000. It's not my style to take more than I need. Ah. I must admit, Jack, I imagined all sorts of reasons, but none of them were close to the truth. Are you disappointed, Mr. Sand? No, 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 not with you, Jack. Quite the contrary. I respect you even more. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Mr. Sand. And now if you'll excuse me, I have to go home and get some sleep. Of course, Jack, I just... 
Oh, <laughs> I just hung up on him. Wow. That's something you typically do to the head of the mafia, but all right. Take some pills, go to sleep. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one.